Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening and it's for the vacant Unity Fighting Championship title bout which will be contested over five rounds in the lightweight division and proudly sponsored by M23 Mental Performance Coaching. Your first fighter, 72 the cage and fighting out of the blue corner, Christian Bogos. Phil 
Number three. So this is our first title fight of the evening. James Bishop, Christians Bogas. Well, this has fight of the night written all over it. Again, I've had the pleasure of commentating on both these guys. Both guys have fought on my show. Bogus is 5-0, unbeaten. Will be coming into this fight with a lot of confidence. Oh, big headshot from Bishop. That will put Bogus on his back foot. Delivered that beautifully. All in the timing. Oh, and again with that left straight. Well, you would think Boris will want to take it down. He's been getting hit with too many shots. Yeah, they're beautifully timed shots. Oh, the time, and like you say, Rob, he's connecting beautiful. Rubbing the eye is bogus. Must be bothering him a little bit. You can see the focus on James Bishop's face. Yeah, he's great movement, great timing, using that reach advantage. Yeah, Bogus Bo right. just seems that little bit apprehensive now. Frightened to commit in case he walks onto something. Oh, he's sharp and fast. Beautiful game with that high kick. Nice kick to the liver. Not much power on that one, though. Well, I thought he would have to take it down. To take it down, he does in the full guard now of James Bishop. But let's not forget, Bishop is a great grappler. Hill straight into the hit. Yeah, Bogus using head control, pushing Bishop right up against the cage. You can see he doesn't like that. Perfectly legal. You can push with the head. Yeah, he's making it very uncomfortable for Bishop. Bishop going for the armbar. Trying to slide the leg around. Borges can feel it. He's not allowing it. Ten seconds to go. Well, a good round for James Bishop. I'm happy that he took that round. The striking was clinical. Yeah, Bogus did well when he did get it to canvas. He kept it in that top position, as you said, and just using his head under the chin, distributing his weight carefully. I just feel for the length of time they were on the ground, just didn't capitalise on the length of time they were on the feet. And Bishop was throwing those beautiful striking combinations. Yeah, you have a feel that already going into round two, Bishop's going to want to keep it up, right? And Bogus is going to want to work hard to get it straight back to where it was. Well, he's got to get it down quicker. Sooner rather than later, it needs to go to the ground if that's what Bogus wants to do. Because James Bishop, his movement, his timing is on point. Here we go, round two. Again with that high kick. You can see Borges has got his right hand up high, protecting that side of the face. It's nice movement from Bishop. Oh, he ducked under those right. punches. Nice takedown. 
Bishop should have kept the distance, worked it from the outside. Half butterfly guard now for James Bishop. Christians Borges manages to get a second takedown now in the full guard. Bishop trying to push the arm through, trying to work the triangle, trying to climb the legs high. Yeah, Bogus can feel it, using his strength just to control it, and again, just using that head to just stifle. Well, that's it, Rob. If you can control the head on the ground like that, you just pin the head down. It's very hard to apply submission. But Bishop now is working right over for the armbar. He should just get that. I was going to say, just needs to get that leg over the head, but Borges is coming in with punches. Looks for the guillotine. Changes Manages tack. to take the back beautifully. Gets both hooks in. Great work. They look to be in deep. Well, the arm looks to be under. Oh, there. that looks... Oh, great work by Bishop, managing to avoid it, but he takes some punishment. But good, good jiu-jitsu and wrestling there from Christian Bogus. Again, that arm looking to snake under. Just slowly but surely trying to work that rear naked choke. Bishop trying to submit with the ankle submission there. For one second, Borg has had his ankles crossed. Yeah, Bishop just defending, trying to work until the end of the round. Bogus trying to get this rear naked choke, trying to get his arm on the neck. Bogus climbing the back again. Yeah, Bishop was trying to turn into him. That's why they're in a funny position. But now he's mounted. Big shots coming down. Just riding the body now of Bishop. Ten seconds to go. Round two. Blood now coming from the eye. Just below the eye of James Bishop. Great from round. Big shots that's come down. Beautiful ground and pound. One round each. Great round for Bogus. He fought the right fight. Got it to where he wanted it. And he looked very comfortable when it got there, Ian. Didn't look to be in any danger. Controlled it very, very well. Well, both fighters are all-rounded. They can both strike, they can both grapple, but by the looks of it tonight, James Bishop is on point while standing. And Christian Bogus is out-wrestling James Bishop right now. Well, James Bishop needs to keep on the outside. Lots of lateral movement. Because Borges is going to go for the clinch. Again with that high kick. Well, he knows it's landed. Not clean, but if he can get it clean. Oh, again, left hook. Bogus doesn't want to be here. Bogus is going to shoot in a second. He's trying to push him back to the cage wall. He's going to go for that clinch. He's going to get the timing right. There we go. Comes forward. Looks yeah, for the you double. You see that. You could see it. He timed it right. Got yeah. the hands clasped. This is a takedown. Bishop needs to work hard. Borges does pull. have his hands clasped together. He just needs to pull out. There we go. He did. He pulled Beautiful. out. It's down. Half guard now. Again, Bishop working the legs high. Half guard position now. Stepped over to mount. This could be dangerous. Again, Bishop turns his back. The wrestling of Bogus, he's just stuck like glue to the back of James Bishop. Trying to work for that rear naked choke. 
Both hooks in, his opponent flattened out. Bogus looking comfortable from the back. Bishop again just trying to work his way out. You can hear the corner men and Hopper telling Bishop to keep your chin down. Don't allow that arm to go underneath the chin. Oh, that's there tight. Is. That is on. It's that on. is tight. Beautiful. And we have a new champion in the lightweight division. Christian Bogus goes from 5 and 0 to 6 and 0 against a very skilled fighter in the way of James Bishop. But it was equal up until this point. And he sunk that rear naked choke in. Bishop had no other option but to tap on up. Bogus looked quite incredible when he found his range. Got it to the canvas. Managed to get the submission victory against a very tough, skilled striker. Well, can I say there's no shame in losing to that because both guys gave it their all. What a title fight that was. Seconds of the third round, your referee, Mr. Phil DeFries, calls a stop to the fight. Declaring your winner by rear naked choke and the lightweight unity champion, Christian Fitzmaurice. Please show your appreciation for James Bishop. <laughs> 